Hey guys, I'm back with another film study video. This time we're going to be looking at Gennady Golovkin versus Daniel Gill. So with that said, on to the video. Continues to rise. Daniel Gill believes he's going to win this fight, even if no one else does. Okay, so the first thing you must understand is Gennady Golovkin is an aggressive counter-punching pressure fighter. So yes, he presses the attack. Yes, he chases these people down. But he actually uses incredible timing, discipline, balance, technique, and mental understanding to be able to actually counter punch while going forward because that's a very hard skill to do. And uh, so we're going to take a look at some of his counter punches. Um, here you can see Daniel Gill shoot his jab. And Golovkin just counters that jab by slipping to the outside of the jab. He knows that Golovkin slips to the outside of the jab and shoots the jab with his own. That's basically just how you counter a guy's jab. Here you see another example of Gennady Golovkin countering the jab. You see how he picks off Gil's jab short. See, he picks, Gil shoots his jab, he picks Gil's jab, and then shoots his own jab and steps away. Beautiful boxing. Here you see much the same thing. Once again, he picks off Daniel Gil's jab and shoots his own and steps away. Beautiful boxing. Now this one, there's a bit more to um, talk about with this one. Here you see Gil shoot his jab, right? You see the two facing each other, you see Gil shoot his jab. Now watch how Golovkin slips the jab, shoots his jab, but also look at Golovkin's left shoulder, which is obviously the shoulder on the jab hand. Notice how he raises his shoulder high in, in, in to block his chin. Now there's a saying in boxing and really in any martial arts which says, Every offense must have built-in defense, and every defense must have built-in offense. Now, here you can see Golovkin shooting his jab, but by bringing that shoulder up to, go, to protect his chin, not only does it protect his chin, but it also um, acts as a deflector for the punch. Notice how Gil's arm is always going to be deflected away from Golovkin's chin. This is just beautiful boxing from Gennady Golovkin. Here you see Golovkin expertly catch a guy's jab and shoot his, his jab back. Notice as Golovkin steps back, he he puts his shoulder out there as a defensive tool. See how he tries to roll that, that punch by Gil by using his shoulders, and he catches it on his shoulders, on his arms. But once again, it's just key to understand, he catches Gil's jab short, and then he fires the jab of his own. Here is a perfect example of what I'm talking about. You see Daniel Gil stepping with his jab. Golovkin slips the jab, shoots his jab, and look at Golovkin's shoulder. Right, see how that shoulder is raised high and protects his chin. This is a key thing about Golovkin is he has built in defense with his offense. So his shoulder is high to protect his chin as he slips the jab. And also that shoulder will deflect Gil's jab away from Golovkin's chin. It's very mechanical, but it's precise with Gennady Golovkin. And it's just like fighting a machine. It's just precise. Um and in the, fire, in the next one, when you see the same thing, this one, in fact, shows it even better because you can see Golovkin slip the jab. Look at Golovkin's shoulders. They're protecting his chin. He slips the jab. Now, a lot of people talk about how Golovkin has incredible power with even his jab. One of the reasons why he has so much power is he makes you punch yourself. Um, when a guy steps in with his jab like Daniel Gill and he gets countered by having his jab, you know, picked off, you know, somebody catches a jab or just slips his jab and shoots his jab stepping in. When Golovkin steps in with his jab and Gil steps in with his jab, when Golovkin catches Gil, Gil is not only going to take the force of Golovkin's jab, but because he's stepping in as well, Gil effectively punches himself because the force of Daniel Gil stepping in plus the force of Golovkin stepping in, it magnifies the impact of the jab. And once again, beautiful defense from Golovkin as you see him roll away from that punch. Look, look at that. I tell people all the time Golovkin uses the shoulder roll. They don't believe me. Look, you can see he's clearly in the shoulder roll position, and that shoulder is protecting his chin, and he's rolling, He's attempting to roll this punch. That right um, right uh, cross would have never hit Golovkin's chin because the shoulder was protecting it. On to the next video. Once again, just another video of Golovkin catching a guy's jab and shooting back his own. So you can clearly see Golovkin as a counter puncher. I mean, I done showed you six, seven examples now. Here's another example. This, this is an example of Golovkin countering Daniel Gill with the same punches, right? So you see Gill attempt to shoot a right cross. Golovkin slips to the inside of the right cross, catches Daniel Gill with his right cross, and then Gill attempts a left hook. And of course, Golovkin also counters that left hook with the left hook of his own. Then he ties up 
and smothers Daniel Gill's offense. Beautiful def- uh, offense from Golovkin, showing his counterpunching ability. Good left hook by Golovkin. Let's talk about Golovkin's defense. When a fighter is knocking people out, you know, just walking through people like the so-called seek and destroy machine that he's been labeled, nobody wants to talk about his defense because, you know, it doesn't fit with the agenda, but he has great defense, Golovkin. Um, so we're just going to take a look at some of his, deep, uh, his defensive moments in the fight. Here he's just missed a right hook, and he's very intelligent because as soon as he misses the right hook, this is what I tell you about intelligent fighters. Golovkin just missed the right hook, and what does he do? He immediately smothers in, right? You see, he closed the distance between himself and Daniel Gill. There is no counter punch when you can close the distance because a boxer needs distance to punch. This is the basic premise people don't seem to realize. If you can close the distance, nobody can punch you. So Golovkin, see how he puts his right shoulder right there in Gil's face, and then Gil attempts everything he can. So here you see Gil attempt a left hook, and Golovkin just rolls it off the shoulder. That's immaculate defense because not only did he put his shoulder in and smother Gil by closing the distance, but he also is aware of the fact that he can roll punches with his shoulders, right? Golovkin it rolls punches with his shoulders. The next clip you see, you're going to see Golovkin block a punch using his arms. There's nothing in the rule books that says that's illegal. It's not illegal. You can block punches with, with your arms in pro boxing. You see how he uses his arm, his left arm to just block that punch and watch him step away, creating distance with his opponent. That's defense. Distance is defense. Now here you see Gil shoot a jab. Golovkin fades away from the jab. Then you see Gil come with a right cross and Golovkin, once again, talk about his head movement, his, his slipping, his bobbing and weaving. Golovkin has great defense. See how Golovkin rolls that punch and just ducks under that punch. And then instantly, what does Golovkin do? As soon as he does that, he smothers Gil once again, because I told you it's about distance. He closes the distance with Gil and prevents Gil firing any counter punches. Here you're going to see Daniel Gil shoot a jab once again. Once again, Golovkin uses his arm. See, he uses his right arm to block that punch and deflect that punch over his head. Did you did you, did you, you guys catch this? Right? Golovkin uses his right arm to deflect. Look at this. That right arm deflects that punch over his head. This is immaculate defense. And then look how he then, Mike Muhammad Ali picks at a guy's jab. See how he picks, the, picks at the guy's jab? That usually makes people unwilling to, to throw the jab because... It kind of forces them to reset themselves. See how he just picks and touches. He just checks Gil's jab right there. Then you see Gil shoot the jab again. There's no conviction for, from Gil on that jab. No conviction whatsoever. Then you see Golovkin once again use his arm to parry basic boxing 101. Parries the jab. And look how after he parries the jab, he changes levels. But watch his lead foot. Watch his, his footwork here. See how he pivots around Gil's right cross and maintains perfect balance the whole time. Not only that, but his lead foot is still facing Daniel Gill. They be like, what, what difference does that make? At no point does Golovkin lose track of his opponent. When Daniel Gill shoots that jab and Golovkin parries the jab, right? Remember when Golovkin parries the jab? He is beginning to use, to change levels and beginning to pivot away from Daniel Gill, right? See when he parries the jab, he changes head slots, changes levels, begins to pivot away. His lead foot is always facing Daniel Gill as he steps around the side. Immaculate defense. Now you're going to see that uh, Golovkin uses changing levels and rolling with the shoulders to avoid punches again. Great defense from Golovkin. And here you just see his reflex is very sharp as he avoids that jab and then at the same time comes back with a jab of his own. They both miss. Uh, Golovkin kind of just grazes him a bit. And then you see Golovkin, see how he raises that left shoulder up to protect his chin? When I tell people that Golovkin uses a shoulder roll, they don't seem to understand what I'm saying. That shoulder is there to protect his chin, and he will just roll the right cross off of that shoulder, just like Mayweather does. Obviously not as good as Mayweather, but he, he, he rolls punches with his shoulders. Okay, so now we're going to talk about Gennady Golovkin's punch selection. Punch selection is, as the name suggests, being able to select the right punch at the right time. Golovkin is very good at this. In fact, he's one of the best in the middleweight division, you know, at selecting the right punches at the right time. It's all to do with your body weight. It's all to do with balance. It's all to do with maximizing power by picking the right punches at the right time. Now here you're going to see 
Daniel Gill stepping away from Golovkin, trying to, you know, get away from him. But the ropes are right behind Daniel Gill. Now, if anybody knows Golovkin, you know this is right about the same place where he folded Matthew Macklin in, in two with a body punch. Now, Golovkin likes to get people on the, on the ropes. So you see what he does is he shoots his right hand, this right cross here. There's no conviction behind that. Don't be fooled. There's no conviction behind that. That right cross was just to get Daniel Gill to back up to the ropes. Then you see he shoots this left, this lead left, or this jab. This jab is, there's no conviction. This jab is to occupy Daniel Gill and set Daniel Gill on the ropes. It's like holding him in place on the ropes. Those two punches you just saw, there was no, there was no intent to, to kill with those punches. The right hand was just to push him onto the ropes, and the left hand you just see now is to set him on the ropes, to hold him in place, to occupy him in place. Then he, he fires this tap right cross. You can, you can obviously see there's no conviction there. I don't even need to tell you. All of that you just saw was simply to set up this left hook to the body. Everything you saw there was just to shoot that left hook down to the body. This is why I talk about punch selection. In the next clip, you see Golovkin can shoot a double jab, which forces Daniel Gill back and forces his guard up. You're right. It, you see, it occupies his guard, so he brings it up. And he comes across with a right hook to the side because his sides are exposed. When the guy goes into that kind of high guard position, the sides of his head are usually exposed for the, for the hooks. And Golovkin understands this and shoots a double jab to get him to go into a high guard and then comes across with the right hook. The other key thing to understand with the right hook is the technique behind it. What Golovkin has actually displayed here is what's known as a Fitzsimmons shift. Now, a Fitzsimmons shift, a shift in general in boxing is when you shoot a punch with one stance and then as you shoot the second punch, you change stance from orthodox to southpaw or southpaw to orthodox. So, for example, if you shoot a jab and then a right cross, and on as you shoot the right cross, you change from orthodox or southpaw by stepping forward with your back foot or your lead foot or your rear foot, you'll be performing a shift. And if you do it again, back from southpaw to orthodox, that's what's known as a double shift. The Fitzsimmons shift is where you come with an angled punch. So Golovkin shoots a lead jab, double lead jab, and then as he shoots the right cross, notice how he steps forward with his right leg. He doesn't complete the shift by going into a southpaw stance, but it's it's the same technique. Golovkin uses this technique all the time. Now you may be saying, what's the benefit to, to shifting? Well, firstly, it preserves momentum going forward. It pre preserves the fighter's momentum as he's going forward, which maximizes punching power because as you step forward, your body weight's stepping forward with the punch, so you maximize punching power. Also, it's very good for an opponent who's going backwards like you saw Daniel Gill doing there. So... That's that technique explained. And you see him miss the right hook, and then he pushes his shoulders into Daniel Gill. Great defense. And here's just a quick clip I included at the end to show you that Golovkin uses his right hook when the guy is just off the ropes to push, to back them into the ropes. See how Golovkin's going to throw this right hook? Now you can clearly see there's no conviction in that. But what's, Golo what's Daniel Gill's reaction? His reaction is to back himself up to the ropes. But this time Daniel Gill knows, okay, you know what? It's safer for me to be on the outside. And so he slips away from the ropes, right? So that just shows you what I'm talking about. That right hook, that right uh, cross, there's no conviction. It's just to back him onto the ropes. All right, thanks for watching, guys. It's been great to uh, study uh, Gennady Golovkin. One of, the, one of the best at middleweight. In my opinion, probably the best right now in the middleweight division. So many intangibles, so many things people don't see because everybody wants to talk about his power in both hands and all the rest of it. Um, that's why I put the, uh, the quote in the beginning of the video, because people who should know better than that, so-called Jim Lampley's of the world, they should be telling you about these, these techniques, these intangibles that Golovkin has. But of course, all they want to do is talk about, you know, how much power he has. So, um, you know, that, yeah, that's just, that's just entertainment sales, you know? So anyway, thanks for watching guys. On to the next one. Gill is trying up. Oh, he's in bad trouble, Jim. The winner by TKO victory. Victory number 30. Knockout number 27. 18 in a row. Still the middleweight champion of the world. The undefeated Gennady Triple G.
Goal!